Is female hair loss the same as male hair loss? A number of different factors cause female hair loss. These include physical stress, emotional stress, thyroid deficiencies, pregnancy, and a host of medications and medical conditions. On the other hand, male hair loss is typically the result of genetics. 99% of hair loss in males is caused by androgenetic alopecia. The predictable pattern of genetic hair loss in men is called male pattern baldness. In females, 45% of hair loss cases are triggered by genetic factors. The predictable pattern of genetic hair loss in women is called female pattern baldness. But the remaining 55% of women who experience hair loss need to explore and address the lifestyle factors first. Diet and nutrition, physical stress, emotional stress, pregnancy, etc. In male pattern hair loss, the first signs as illustrated in the Norwood scale are a receding hairline and thinning hair around the crown area. If left untreated, hair loss will progress and eventually the follicles will die, resulting in hair thinning and baldness. Follicles at the side and back of the head are less affected and this is why hair growth often remains intact in these areas with men. Female pattern hair loss starts with thinning hair across the central area of the scalp as illustrated in the Ludwig scale. Most women tend to retain their hairline, however, if left untreated, the thinning often spreads to the side areas of the scalp, in the temples, and above the ears. A very, very small number of women actually experience baldness. Although hair loss can be distressing to either sex, the condition can be particularly difficult for women as having hair is more strongly tied to the identity of a female. Is there a treatment for genetic hair loss? Androgenetic alopecia? There are only two products that have undergone extensive clinical trials and been shown to be safe and effective for treating hair loss. As a result of these tests, minoxidil for men and women and Propecia for men only have been licensed by the MHRA in the UK and are FDA approved in the United States. If you found this video helpful and would like more information on the subject of women's hair loss, go to thinhairhelper.com by typing the URL into your browser or by clicking on the link in the description below this video. Thank you for watching.